Dora Madison Burge's abrupt departure from Chicago Fire had us all worried. Fans started wondering why a beloved character was leaving suddenly. Did the storyline of Chicago PD affect Dora Madison's character in Chicago Fire? What projects is Dora Madison involved in now? Don't worry, we have all the inside scoop about her departure and more. Let's first talk about Chicago Fire and the One Chicago franchise. Chicago Fire is a long-running TV show that premiered in 2012. This drama is presently on its 10th season and has been renewed for its 11th season. It is a part of the massive One Chicago franchise, which includes Chicago PD, Chicago Med, and Chicago Justice. All these shows exist in the same universe and have plot lines that converge at some points. Now, Chicago Fire is about the fire department at the fictional Firehouse 51 and its divisions, i.e. Engine Company 51, Truck Company 81, Rescue Squad Company 3, Battalion 25, and Ambulance 61. It follows the personal and professional lives of the firefighters, rescue personnel, and paramedics. Though the show has received average reviews from critics, it has a massive, devoted fan base. Next, Dora Madison in Chicago PD and Chicago Fire. Dora Madison Burge initially burst into the limelight as a regular on the NBC drama Friday Night Lights between 2009 and 2011. Following this, she appeared in various roles in TV and live action films. In 2014, she appeared in the first episode of Chicago PD's second season. In this episode titled Call It Macaroni, Dora Madison played a character named Alyssa Jellybean Martin, who is a confidential informant for the Chicago Police Department. It was reported that the producers of the One Chicago franchise were so impressed with her performance as Jellybean that they decided to cast her in Chicago Fire as a regular. In episode 21 of season 3, titled We Call Her Jellybean, Dora Madison debuted as Alyssa Martin's twin sister, Jessica Chili Chilton. Dora Madison quickly became a fan favorite because of her acting prowess. Though Jessica and Alyssa are identical twins, they are portrayed so uniquely that they feel like two different characters. Up next, Jessica Chilton. Jessica Chilton joined Firehouse 51 as a paramedic. Right from the get-go, we see that Jessica is a cool operator who performs well in her job as a paramedic in Ambulance 61. She also has an eccentric streak, which leads to her inventing a self-chilling champagne, which to nobody's surprise, was called Chili's. In later episodes, we see her pitching her invention to drum up interest in the project. Though Chili's is her passion project, it doesn't mean that she was slacking off in her real job. She's a competent paramedic who comes in clutch during many harrowing life and death situations. Fans loved her youthfulness and felt that it was an injection of fresh energy to the show. She even went on to appear in episodes of Chicago Med. Now, the inside scoop. One of the showrunners of Chicago Fire, Matt Olmsted, praised Dora Madison for her acting chops and stated that she did a great job. It was then revealed that the writers wanted to catch fans off guard. They felt that important or recurring characters generally exited shows either at the beginning or end of the season, and this formula was stale. They also felt that fans would assume that no major changes would happen mid-season and get conditioned to only paying attention to the first and last episode. So their idea was to show that the writers were not afraid of removing an important character mid-season. This way, fans would remain on the edge of their seats. After all, the series depicts the lives of people in dangerous and highly stressful professions. It is likely that these characters would have crises that affect their personal and professional lives deeply. Simply put, the writers wanted to shock their audience and drive fan buzz, and Jessica's departure did that very well. However, some fans have found that Jessica was treated too harshly, that it reflected poorly on the fire department to fire someone who was suffering from substance abuse and needed help. You may wonder why Jessica hasn't made a comeback, at least so that fans can get some closure on her story arc. It does seem that her departure is permanent, as any return appearance would diminish the effect of her storyline. Also, it seems like Dora Madison did not have a choice as to her character Jessica being written off the show. However, the showrunner Matt Olmsted stated that it wasn't an easy choice to make and that the writers felt it difficult to remove her character from the show. 
Dora Madison doesn't seem to have any issues with her departure from the show. In fact, she tweeted that she had been excited to be promoted to the regular cast in season four and that she was happy to be a part of the show. Talking about her character, Jessica said that not all heroes wore capes and some people wore the weight of the world on their shoulders. She stated that she enjoyed playing the character Jessica, who was beautifully layered and crafted. Not only was her character smart, fun, and ambitious, but she was also troubled, traumatized, and struggled with addiction. Not so chill days. As we go deeper into her story, we see that she has difficulties maintaining relationships with her co-workers, friends, and romantic interests. It is revealed that she had suffered childhood trauma since her parents didn't get along very well. Jessica faced certain troubles being accepted within Firehouse 51. Peter Mills, who had joined Firehouse 51 as a rookie a few years ago, left the profession and went on to run a restaurant. Mills had close relationships with many members of Firehouse 51. When Jessica joined the firehouse, a few members of the team were still coming to terms with Mills' departure, so she had an uphill challenge getting along with her co-workers. The challenge was made even harder because of her struggles with creating and maintaining healthy relationships. In season four, we see her behavior become a bit erratic. At first, she gets into a workplace relationship with Jimmy, a fireman. However, this relationship doesn't end well. During her relationship, she was reprimanded for engaging in inappropriate public displays of affection. She was also constantly agitated and responded in a hostile manner to anyone who talked to her. This affected her equation with her coworkers and superiors. Things escalate when during a routine emergency call, Jessica accidentally gives a patient morphine instead of Valium, leading to the patient's death. Later on, she attempts to cover up the incident, but her deception is exposed. We then get to know that Jellybean, her twin sister, was found dead in her apartment. Her twin sister's death affects Jessica deeply, and she starts drinking during her job as a coping mechanism. In addition, Jessica shared a close bond with Herman, who was a veteran firefighter. At that point in time, Herman was in the hospital after being stabbed. The rest of Firehouse 51 empathize with her and try to help her. However, she remains isolated from them, and their relationship is strained. Jessica then breaks down when she receives a package containing Jelly Bean's belongings. Things go from bad to worse when she is caught drinking while at work. She goes to her boss, the deputy district chief, and says that she was under immense stress and she needed to take some time off. She promised to seek help and go for counseling. In a shocking twist, she's fired on the spot. Later on, we get to know that Jessica was able to seek professional help and was in rehab. However, she did not make any further appearances in the show. Now, you may wonder why a fan favorite character was written off the show so abruptly. Fans were surprised that there was no foreshadowing or hints towards her exit. Soon enough, fan speculation began as to whether there was some issue between the production and the actor, or contractual issue. However, this is completely unfounded. Next, Chicago Fire and Sudden Departures. If we look at the entire run of Chicago Fire, we see that multiple main and recurring characters have come and gone. Leslie Shea, Another paramedic who was prominently featured in the first two seasons was killed off. Peter Mills, a prominent firefighter, was suddenly written off the show at the end of season three. In fact, Jessica was promoted to the main cast as a replacement for Mills. Similarly, Emily Foster, another fan favorite, was written off after two seasons. What projects is Dora Madison involved in now? Dora Madison has recently starred in the 2019 horror film Bliss and the 2020 sci-fi drama Lapsus. She was also cast in Terrence Malik's experimental romance drama, Song to Song. Other appearances include Honor the Farm and Bliss. She was also a regular on the comedy TV show, What Would Diplo Do? So there you have it. All you need to know about Dora Madison's time on Chicago Fire and her departure from the show. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of her character's time in Chicago Fire? Do you think she deserved a better story arc? 